Hi, Milo here, and today I want to show you how to automatically embed data from Excel into the expanded phrase. I'll be using Excel lookup and calculation macros for this, so please stay with me until the end. Let's look at the following example. I have an Excel table with a large amount of data about our products. When the customer asks me for a quote, I want to answer him with the details about price and availability automatically without even opening the Excel file. I'm in the text expander module. The command mode is set to send, and this is my message. Now I need to populate it with the missing information. I want to put the product name here, then I'll choose the Excel file lookup macro. Looks complex, but believe me, it's not. I'll name it product name. Then I need to tell fast keys in which file to search. So I'll select the folder icon, select my Excel file, and I could also specify the Excel sheet name or range of cells, but my file is simple, so I'll keep it at the defaults. You see, I have product names in column B, which is the second column in my Excel. So I'll set the lookup column number to two, meaning the second column. The only other thing I need to do is specify the return column field. The output should be a product name, so I'll also enter two into the return column field. I'll keep other settings at defaults for now. You see, the table macro field was inserted into my phrase. Next, I want to display the product code of the selected product. I'll put the cursor in the right position and select the same macro again. Fast keys assumes this is part of the same query, so the main things are already selected. I just need to set the name. We'll still be searching by names, so I'll leave it at two for second column, set the return column, checking in Excel, product code is column A, so that's column number one, okay. Then I'll do the same for product price field. This one should show the third column from my Excel. And product availability field, this one should return the column number four. That's all. I'll set the abbreviation string to PRD, set a short description, and OK. Let's see it running. After I type the abbreviation, I get a search field. I can start writing the product name and I get suggestions. I will choose this one, press OK, and you see, my phrase was automatically created using the data from Excel product name, code, price, and availability. Pretty powerful stuff. Think about the possibilities at your job. Well, we can still improve a few things though. Let's say the customer is asking for the information about a specific quantity and would like to know the total price. I'll go back to my phrase and insert additional information. Well, I need to enter quantity information, so I'll use a manual text input macro for this. I'll name it quantity, and as this should be a number, restrict the input format to digits only. Okay, fast keys will now ask me about the quantity. Now what about the total price? We have all the information. We just need to multiply the quantity with the price. Fast keys can do that for me. I'll go ahead and select calculation macro. I'll call it total price. Then I need to put the formula into this field. Fast Keys makes it easy for me, so I can simply click on the three dots button and select relevant variables. Input quantity. Then I'll type an asterisk to multiply. And table product price. Simple formula, like in Excel, just using available variables. I'm fine with the other settings. And while I'm here, I'll quickly use manual text input macro for a customer name to make the message more personal. Always a good practice. Pressing OK, and all my fields are now ready. Let's see. 
Now I'm asked for a customer name first. Then, as before, I'll select the product, let's say 10 pieces, and bam! All of the fields were expanded with all the right information. Before we go, just another tip at the end. When I'm looking up the Excel data, wouldn't it be great if I could see more information about the products I'm selecting? For example, I would like to see the information about the availability right away, so I can only select the products that are in stock. I'll open my first macro field. You know, I can look at multiple columns, so I'll add column 4 here, which is the availability information. Now, when I'm starting to search for the product, I get this additional info so I can choose the right product. What do you think? Just crazy levels of automation if you ask me, and I'm not sure any other software can do this. These features are available in the professional edition of FastKeys. I hope you learned something new in this video, and please share your ideas about this feature in the comments below. Please subscribe to our channel and give us a like. It really helps. I'm Milo Shapiro, Fast Keys expert and public speaking coach from publicdynamics.com. Stay tuned, and we'll catch you in the next one.